on Awake with News 4, we believe that the threat of a federal government shutdown is really a big deal. It could happen when a temporary funding bill runs out this Friday. Happening today, President Obama will meet with top Democrat and Republican lawmakers to try to get negotiations moving forward. So what are the main issues here? We lined up Republican lawmaker John Shimkus from the Metro East and Democrat Russ Carnahan of St. Louis to break it down for us this morning. We're going to start with Congressman Shimkus. Thank you so much for joining us on the phone this morning. Claire, good morning. Great to be with you. Thank you. Kind of walk us through this. What is the holdup here? What is the delay? Why are we not able to reach a compromise right yeah. now? Yeah, and you know, no one, no one wants to be in this position, but you know, the reality is we never passed a budget last year. And because we didn't pass a budget last year, we're doing what we call these continuing resolutions uh, that try to get us to the end of the year. Uh, obviously, on new majorities in Congress, we want to cut spending. Uh, and that's really what this debate is. How do you fund government by reducing the size of the federal government? We, we've already passed a bill to do that through the end of the year. The Senate hasn't passed anything, and that's part of, part of the delay. Uh, I taught government history, how mm -hmm. a bill becomes a law. One chamber passes a bill. Then the second chamber passes a bill. You go to conference. You send it. To, you revote on it. You send it to the president. Mm -hmm. we, we want the Senate to pass a bill, but uh, I'm not optimistic. I think uh, I think we're headed uh, uh, for uh, a train wreck here. Okay, Congressman Shim, because we put on our Facebook page this morning to all of our viewers what questions they might have for some of the lawmakers. And one of the main questions was, what exactly is a government shutdown? What would this mean? A lot of people really having a tough time wrapping their head around what we could see come Friday. Yeah, and I think people who rem remember back to 95, I wasn't a member of Congress then, but uh, they remember seeing that the uh, national parks being closed. But I think this will be a little more pervasive because at that time some of the spending bills had been, had been passed already. So uh, this means that if you work for the federal government uh, or there are, good, there are services out there uh, provided by the national government or grants or loans, everything stops operating until we allow uh, funds to be spent out of the Treasury to perform these functions. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think we really, we really know. Mm -hmm. All I do know is I think uh, an eight-pager uh, is going to be sent around to uh, congressional offices about how do we, how do we personally prepare mm -hmm. for government sh shutdown. I know the federal agencies have already gone through that process. And one more quick question for you. It seems that uh, House Republicans are really going to shake things up today because it's anticipated that they're going to release the budget for 2012. And we're not just talking billions of dollars in cuts. We're talking trillions of dollars here. Yeah, we're, we have a 13 and a half to $14 trillion national debt. Everyone believes it's unsustainable. Even the President's Debt Commission has tried to get their arms wrapped around that. It's really the entitlement programs and the promises to pay future generations for services that we, we can't pr mm -hmm. provide. So, uh, yeah, I, and honestly, we're pretty excited about it. Here, here we're talking in the CR about billions, which is really nickels and dimes compared to $4 trillion. So we're prepared for that debate. All right, Congressman Shimkus, best of luck to you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Thank Awake. You.